Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Ruben from UIUX Creative. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and support. All right, in today's video, we're gonna be creating or animating uh, cards uh, for this cool uh, mock-up I created a few months ago. So let's get to it. So the first thing you need to do is of course set up your screens. I have four screens here. And what you need to do right away once you have everything set up is actually go to your prototype section here. And what we're gonna do here is actually, let me just go and zoom in and just click on, you can either go, you know, the, the button here to go to the next one, or you can just, you know, click on the actual button and make sure you select the button. Drag this to the next uh, screen and then go here. And instead of tab, you can choose in between the trigger, tab, drag, whatever you wanna do. Uh, we're gonna leave it at tab and we're gonna auto animate this. And it's gonna go to the second screen, that's right. And then ease in out. 0.3 seconds, this is perfect, this is good. If you wanna try it out and test it, just click on the home and then click the play button here and then just try it. Boom, it goes there, pretty easy. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next one, to the next screen, which is uh, the, the fun part. So as you can see here, you have the first card and then you have the second card and then the third one or whatever. Um, but we're gonna animate uh, the second one actually. So we're gonna drag it. So imagine that you are on a phone and you wanna swipe to the left. So you're gonna, instead of doing a tap, you're gonna drag that. We're gonna use the drag uh, trigger for this one. So the first thing you need to do, I always say uh, first thing, first thing. <laughs> All right, so click on the actual card, the whole thing, and just, drag it to the next screen, which is this one. And here in your trigger, instead of tap, because you're not gonna tap on it, you're gonna drag it. Uh, use drag, go to the third uh, screen, that's right, and then snap. You can, the, the easing, you can go ease out, whatever. Let's use snap and just, let's see how that looks. All right, so click on the screen and click on the play button just to see. And then you're gonna see like a little hand and just like drag it. Perfect. See, that was easy. That was great. All right, so let's go to the third screen then. Then here, let's say if you wanna go back again to the first one, if you wanna drag it, you know, go back to the first one, we're gonna do the same, same thing. We're just gonna click on the uh, actual uh, card number one, which is this one, but now in the th third screen, it's here. So we're gonna go and grab it and put it back to the second screen. Uh, make sure instead of tap here, you go and select uh, drag. Auto anime is, is pretty cool. Um, what do you wanna do for the easing? Let's, let's do snap as well and let's Try that out. Click on the uh, on the top here on the label, the title, and let's see the hand and just drag it. So as you can see here now, everything is draggable now, and you can do this for as long or as many as you want. And you can change, you know, you can change your copy here, your text, um, whatever you need to do. This is pretty easy to do and pretty quick. Uh, this is something that you can mock up and animate and, and, and prototype for the developers to actually uh, create this type of effect, which is pretty cool. Um, all right, so we're gonna continue and let's do something else. Let's do, let's click on the on the pre-order. Like once you're here, if you wanna pre-order this, make sure you, you don't click on the actual like like background of the button but the whole button itself. Like click on the whole thing and then drag to the fourth 
screen and then you're gonna it's not gonna be drag anymore this is a button so you're gonna tap on it so you're gonna tap you're gonna auto animate if you want to do that uh, you can do overlay you can do a lot of stuff in there um, but let's leave it at animate and instead of a uh, snap let's do bounce just to see how it looks and then click on the top click on the play button and let's see how that works let's try this out first go to the second one and then boom i don't like that i don't like because it jumped so let's go back again and click on the tab here you're gonna see like a little um if you go back to your other ones you're gonna see what type of trigger you have if you hover over and you can click on it just to activate that one so instead of bounds, let's just do is in. Let's try that one. Click on play again. Ooh, I like that. Let's do it again. So let's play. Yeah, it's still like kind of jumping, uh, like a jumpy a little bit. And I don't like that. And it's probably because of, let's click on an Tap again, auto animate, and then this is uh, is in. Let's do is in out, and also let's uh, extend probably to 0 0.8, and then click on play. Oh, I like that. That's more like smooth transition. Let's do it again. Let's see how that looks. Nice. Yeah, this is perfect. I like this. So you, you have to experiment. You have to like click on things and see what works and what doesn't work. So that way you adapt. So let's go back here and just like if you were here, you want to go back to your first. Let's see. Click on this path, like the back button and just like boom, go back is in, is in and out. Uh, let's do let's do a quick one and let's click on play. You should be able to see the back button. Perfect. Uh, let's say if you want to close this whole thing and go to the first um, the first screen. So let's do that. Let's like close this. Click on the close and let's go back to the first one. Let's do the same thing for the other one. So if you click on the X, which is close, and go back to, to the first one. So let's click, uh, let's click on the first one and play the whole thing together. All right, you're here. You want to see details. You click. You get to the first screen. Uh, you want to swipe and see other stuff. You can swipe back again. Cool. I like this. So let's pre-order this boom you get more details about it or whatever um, and then if you want to go back you can go back again and if you want to close this and go to the first uh, screen you can do so and boom voila this is pretty cool you can use this on anything that you are creating for a website uh, landing page emails uh, mobile apps etc so this is just to show you how you can utilize the the animation uh, stuff from Adobe XD. They are amazing. I use them all the time to create micro animations and stuff like that to make it more interactive. Um, so clients love that. The developers love that as well. And you as a designer, like you, you love seeing things, how they will function at, at the end of the, the process. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. Um, I'll be creating more stuff like this in the future. So make sure you're subscribed, like, and, and um, support. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned. Bye-bye.